Hello, my name is Alex. I'm the Advent Label Applicator Company. This is a demonstration of the Advent 310 Push Through Labeler. We received your samples. Um, labels look fantastic. Containers look good. They look like they would work fine, but they actually have a taper to them. There is a one millimeter taper. This measures about 22 millimeters in diameter, and then this flares out at the bottom to 23 millimeters. If we try to put a container or a label onto there, just normally what happens is the label bubbles up towards the top because this is a smaller diameter. And one millimeter is a significant taper. It's hard to tell with these containers, but they're black, but they are very tapered. However, we were able to get a 310 to work. Um, we had to make uh, slight modifications. Won't affect the operation. Um, you can see here, this is the worst. We run about um, run it about 40 to 50 times and you can see you have a very less than a sixteenth of an inch possible deflection because of the taper but most importantly we're eliminating the bubble and the wrinkle so it looks really really good and let me just go ahead and demonstrate that really quickly two hands I push it into the carriage and you can see a label goes on single label and you can really fly through these and I'll just go ahead and do that I'll go through the modifications we made, just so you're aware of them. And then you can just push that up. And that's it. We did all those. We'll take a look at them. Okay. So again, that's probably going to be the worst. See, that one's very good. That's good. That one's absolutely perfect. And that's just because all molded plastic containers are not going to be perfect each and every time. This one has two labels on it and I maybe didn't push that in correctly. That one's perfect. So you can see there's going to be the possibility of about a sixteenth of an inch but you could go really really quickly probably average about 25 to 30 containers a minute and it is working with a tapered surface which is really really difficult for most labelers. And the modifications we made is we, we um, machined down the trigger just to accommodate the smaller diameter. We have a peel bar, and this is the most important modification, that's actually tilted. So we're actually compensating for the um, slight taper of the container. This side is raised um, about probably about a millimeter um, to match. And then um, what we've done is we're, we need to put pressure even though an overhead pressure arm puts pressure on an unfilled or light container, we need more pressure. And instead of pressing this down, we've added a, an encapsulating spring right here. And you can take it on and off. So if you're doing a standard container that doesn't need that additional pressure. But when you're running these containers, you just reattach it to that point, And it will put enough pressure to help press that label onto that smaller diameter towards the top. So that's the Advent 310. We just wanted to make this video so you're aware of the modifications we met, made and that there is going to be probably about a sixteenth of an inch deflection from container to container. But most of them will probably be dead on just like this. You can see they look really great. Any questions, we can reach at 800-846-7716. Thank you.